Yo, what's up guys? Firebreeder here, and today I'm going to be showing and going over basically the first few things that you should be taking note of and looking at when you first launch Rocket League as a free-to-play player. When you first launch the game, the first thing you want to do is you want to change your camera settings. First off, you want to turn off your camera shake. You want to make your field of view 110. Your distance can be anywhere between like 260 to 280 height at 100 to 110. My angle is negative 3. You can change that from negative 3 to negative 5. It's pretty good. Stiffness is a bit of preference. You kind of want to hang around the middle though. Uh, anywhere between like 0.4 to 0.7. That's really the one of the most important settings that you need to change when you first launch the game. After that, if you switch tabs on over to the controls, you'll see your sensitivities and your dead zone. Where you see your controller dead zone, you do want to lower that a bit. So I think on default it's 0.3. You want to lower that to maybe 0.1. Your dodge zone you can keep the same. Your sensitivities is preference. You can change that over time. You don't have to really worry about that. Ball camera mode, you want to have to make sure that's on toggle. Your control binds. Okay, so this is actually pretty important too. You, you can change a bunch of stuff, but I think the more important ones that you need to change is your air roll and your power slide. The easiest button to have that on is L1. Well, I use PS4 control, right? So I'm on L1. Uh, you can change that to a left bumper if you're on Xbox. You could change your boost to R1 or right bumper if you want. It's not exactly needed, but it could be worth trying out though. It could definitely help you out. But other than that, for your controls, you don't really need to change much else, but definitely change your air roll and power slide. A lot of high level players slash pros um, they turn down and turn off pretty much all the video settings. You'll texture detail, you set that to high performance, roll detail performance, particle performance. And then you want to take off every single one of those little check boxes, like high quality shaders all the way down. You want to make sure all that's ticked off pretty much, except the last one, which is transparent gold post. You want to have that on. Now that's in the advanced settings. And then the basic settings, you want to have to be anti-aliasing off, render quality, high quality. And then make sure your max FPS is maxed out to whatever monitor resolution you're playing. So, I mean, you can just max it out just in case though, to be safe. And that's pretty much it for the options, like straight, right before you even get into free play or into game, then you basically want to change all those settings first. So now you got all those settings changed and you're pretty much good to go to actually play the game. I suggest you don't actually go into casual immediately. If it was up to me, I would suggest go into training first. Make sure to do the tutorial if you haven't already. <laughs> I mean, I know the tutorials are kind of annoying, but it's definitely worth doing. I think you should see like free play, custom, aerial, all this stuff. And then after you're done doing that, you want to do the striker, goalie, aerial training. And make sure you do all three of those. You don't have to like do the, the advanced uh, tutorials for aerial, goalie, striker, but just make sure you sure you do them. Just so you get an idea of like how the game feels. And then free play. Free play is basically where there's just you and the ball in the field and you can just practice hitting the ball around, seeing how that feels, and just, you know, just hitting the ball around and getting kind of a feel for the game. Now that you kind of finish all those trainings and you kind of gain a little bit more of a feel of the game, right, you should notice that there's boosts all over the map, right, when you're playing. There's little small pads and there's, little, there's the big pads like in the corners and in the sides of the map. Now, each one of these little pads can count for up to like roughly 12 boosts a pad. And then the big boosts, like the little orbs, I should say, it as long, doesn't matter how much boost you have going into it, as long as you get one of those, it instantly refills your tank up to 100. I know the big boost might be tempting to get every single time, right? Because it instantly refills it. But you really want to, especially since you're just starting out, you really want to make sure that you're kind of getting the habit of picking up these little small pads along the way. So with, let's say you're like you're playing or you're driving around and then you can't find any of the big pads, be sure to pick out those small pads and try to pick up as many of those along the way because they definitely add up and you can definitely uh, start practicing your boost management right out of the gate, like as soon as you start playing, right? And that's going to be an important skill set that's going to um, help you down the line for sure. Pretty much at this point now, you kind of have a very basic understanding, right, of what you want to do. Uh, so now it's time to actually play Rocket League, right? So what you want to do, the game modes you want to play at first, in my opinion, you would want to play casual 2v2 first, not 3v3, you want to play 2v2. The reason I'm suggesting 2v2 is because there's more space on the field and you're going to be able to hit the ball way more. And that's really what you want to do when you first start out. You want to be able to get a lot of touches, you want to be involved in the play a lot. 
So I would suggest doing twos instead of threes because in threes you're not gonna be able to like get to the ball as much as you really want to. You get a feel for the game for what it is. So I would highly suggest starting out with casual twos. Maybe if you have a friend, you can queue up with them and then you guys can get good together or better together. But I would highly suggest playing twos instead of threes at first. Maybe even throwing some 1v1 in there too, especially since 1v1 is great for improve your mechanics. Improve your pretty much everything at first. For your game sense, your, like how to control the ball, all that good stuff, right? So definitely I would suggest playing ones and twos when you're first starting out. And then once you kind of get the feel for the game a little bit, you can move on to 3v3 to kind of get uh, the hang of that as well. That pretty much sums up all the really basic stuff that you guys need to know when you first get on Rocket League. I really hope this guy, this helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to leave the video a like. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out, guys.